Hi, John Ashton. You probably know me better as Sergeant Taggart from the Beverly Hills Cop movies. Or maybe Gone Baby Gone, which we shot in Boston. Please do not forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload next. John Ashton, the actor best known for his role in Beverly Hills Cop, passed away peacefully at the age of 76. His family, friends, and fans remember him as more than just an actor. He was a loving husband, a devoted father, a music enthusiast, and a humble man who cherished the little things in life. John Ashton was born in Springfield, Massachusetts, in February 1947. His parents, both hardworking individuals, instilled in him the values of dedication, kindness, and humility. John was an only child, and his bond with his parents was strong. They supported his love for the arts from an early age. Growing up, John had a passion for music. He would often spend hours in his room, listening to classic rock records or playing his guitar. While many of his friends were drawn to sports, John was captivated by the idea of performing. Whether it was playing music or acting, he wanted to express himself and connect with others. As a teenager, John participated in local theater productions. His natural charisma and talent quickly made him a favorite among the audience. His performances were filled with emotion, and it was clear to everyone who watched him that he had a gift for storytelling. After completing his studies, John moved to Los Angeles in search of bigger opportunities. Like many aspiring actors, he faced countless auditions and rejections. But John was patient. He believed that hard work and perseverance would eventually pay off, and he was right. In the early 1980s, John landed the role that would change his life, Sergeant Taggart in Beverly Hills Cop. The action comedy became a huge success, and John's portrayal of the no-nonsense, straight-laced cop resonated with audiences worldwide. The role brought him fame and recognition, but John remained grounded. He always said, I'm just a guy doing what I love. The fame is secondary. Despite his rising fame, John never let success get to his head. He stayed true to his roots, always treating those around him with respect and kindness. His colleagues admired him for his work ethic and down-to-earth nature. Behind the scenes, John was a dedicated family man. He met his wife, Mary, in the early 1970s, long before his Hollywood fame. They shared a deep connection built on mutual respect, trust, and love. Mary was always by his side, supporting him through the highs and lows of his career. Together, they created a warm and loving home. John and Mary had one son, Michael. From a young age, John tried to instill the same values in Michael that his parents had taught him, kindness, humility, and the importance of family. John was not just a father but a friend to his son. They shared a love for music, often playing guitar together or listening to their favorite records. As Michael grew older, John made sure to be present in his life, no matter how busy his acting career got. He was the kind of dad who never missed a soccer game or school event, always making time for his family despite his demanding schedule. While acting was John's career, music was his lifelong passion. He had always dreamed of being a rock star, but acting took center stage. Still, John never let go of his love for music. He often spent his free time playing guitar or attending live concerts. His home was filled with musical instruments and records, a testament to his enduring passion. John's love for music was infectious. Friends and family often gathered at his home for impromptu jam sessions, where he would play guitar and sing. Those who knew him best said that while he was a talented actor, music was where his soul truly came alive. John and Mary's home was a reflection of their warm and humble lifestyle. They lived in a modest house in a quiet neighborhood in Los Angeles. Despite John's success, the couple never felt the need to live in extravagant mansions or chase the Hollywood lifestyle. They believed in living simply and staying connected to the things that truly mattered. Their home was cozy, 
filled with family photos, books, and John's extensive collection of records. The backyard was John's favorite place, where he spent many afternoons gardening or playing guitar under the shade of a large oak tree. Neighbors often commented on how approachable and friendly John was. He was the kind of person who waved to everyone he passed and took the time to chat with people in the community. Despite his fame, he never saw himself as different from anyone else. As John got older, he began to take a step back from the spotlight. He took on fewer roles and focused more on spending time with his family. He loved being a grandfather and would often talk about how proud he was of his grandchildren. In his later years, John also became more involved in charity work. He was passionate about helping others, especially causes related to children and the arts. He often said that he wanted to give back to the world that had given him so much. John remained active well into his 70s, enjoying walks, music, and time with loved ones. However, in recent years, his health began to decline. Mary and Michael were always by his side, supporting him through every challenge. John Ashton, recognized for his role as John Taggart in Beverly Hills Cop and its three sequels, has passed away at the age of 76. According to his manager, Alan Summers, Ashton died on Thursday in Fort Collins, Colorado, after a brief struggle with cancer, as reported by The Hollywood Reporter. The news of his passing sent ripples through the entertainment industry, with fans and fellow actors sharing their condolences and stories about the kind and talented man they had known. But for those who knew him best, John will always be remembered as a loving husband, father, and friend. John Ashton leaves behind a legacy that extends far beyond his work in Hollywood. He was a man who lived life with passion, grace, and humility. He never let fame change who he was, and he always put his family first. His love for music, acting, and his family defined him, and his memory will live on in the hearts of those who knew him. As Mary once said, John wasn't just an actor. He was a man of integrity, love, and compassion. We were lucky to have him. John's career in Hollywood may have been marked by his memorable roles, but it was his kindness, humility, and love for the people in his life that truly defined him. Today, as we remember John Ashton, we celebrate not just the actor, but the incredible person he was. At the time of his passing, John's net worth was estimated to be around $3 million. However, to those who loved him, his wealth was not in money but in the relationships he had built, the lives he had touched, and the love he had shared. John's life reminds us that true success is not measured by fame or fortune but by the love we give and receive. He lived a life filled with passion, love, and kindness, and his legacy will continue to inspire those who knew him. John Ashton's life was one of dedication, love, and simplicity. He may be gone, but his spirit lives on in the hearts of his family, friends, and fans. His journey reminds us all of the importance of staying true to ourselves, loving deeply, and living life with purpose. As we say goodbye to John, we celebrate the life of a man who lived fully, loved deeply, and left the world a little brighter than he found it. May his soul rest in peace. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to daily updates and never miss a video.